Hey everybody, John with uh, Planet Tech, and today we're going to be working on another Construct 2 tutorial. This time it's going to be an open world space game. So um, the end goal of this is to be something like Flash Track. If you ever played that game, you would know what I mean. Uh, if not, there's going to be a link down below. It's basically you choose a side uh, or an alien race and then you get a ship and then from there you move on and create basically a little mini empire. That's what we're going to be doing except a little bit more expanded size um, or features but a more limited uh, amount of planets and everything. We're not going to do like, you know, 20, 30 planets. Uh, you could do some randomly generated stuff, and we may do that where the where a couple planets are randomly generated or something like that. Um, but it's basically get a ship, choose a side, create a side, and um, build a little empire, claim planets, or you know explore space, become wealthy. Um, again, own own uh, planets and what we're going to do is we're going to actually input a little multiplayer so there's going to be sections where it's going to be single player and then multiplayer uh, depending on you know what exactly what you want to do in the game so it's going to be kind of complex in a small scale so single player all you do is uh, basically uh, yeah you can claim planets but it's not like on a global scale like on multiplayer and mostly what you do is you're going to uh, have an in, uh, create an income use it to create ships little arm armadas and be basically kind of like a hired gun or a merchant class and then if you choose the multiplayer what you can do is then you can then hire out these um, you know these gunners or these merchants or whatever or you know buy and sell things from them but basically on the multiplayer aspect is it's going to be a little more expansive using the using the single players as um in, in a sense tools to create a larger empire so you be claiming planets um, or moons or trade routes or s stuff like that we're gonna you know expand as we get further along into this tutorial right now we're going to keep it simple and silly with just being in this space zone so in each space zone is specifically about a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel uh, territory um, where you may have uh, you know a planet a couple moons a mining area you can um, if you claim the uh, the area, or if you get permission from like the local plan or whatever, you can actually set uh, set up a trade um, station or a mining station, and then they take their profits, and then you get your profits or whatever. Um, if it's profitable or whatever, then they really like you. So um, we're gonna have a multi diversal setup in this game. Right now, it's again really simple. Is you and your ship. You're collecting what's called uranium. Every ship runs on uranium, or specifically Earth ships run on uranium. And you want to collect it because it's a cheap way to get money and sell it to this station. So I'm going to pop up um, the game so we can see what we're going to be doing. And uh, so we have data. So this is all the data. Um, it's a little, we're going to create a little HUD. Uh, basically but data displays here so information like your planet's being attacked or stations being attacked or something like that um, this zero disk represents ore or item a uh, particular item that you're going to create this will also be moved to a HUD like item, uh, device or a pop-up so you can see what type of item you are collecting right now this just represents ore but eventually I will have a slide icon or a slide bar which will pop up and say hey you have you know if you're a merchant class and you're collecting or selling items you have maybe what 20 tons of socks 15,000 tons of raw iron and you have to either sell that or move it from one place to another place and then this is your cash so eventually all these text um, UI um, pop-ups or whatever will be moved to a little bit fancier um, GUIs or graphical user interfaces. So we have the car controller, which I'll modify a little bit later, but it serves the purpose right now for us just to move around. 
Uh, we're fast, but we're not super fast. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click on that little uh, rock. Eventually, we're gonna, I'm going to have it to where it's all randomly generated. And as you can see, we have collected one ton of uranium. We're going to go swing over by the station. And we're going to click on it. Now, we can actually buy it, and it's not going to charge us or anything like that. Eventually, we will, you know... We're going to put a money system to where we're going to be charged. And then I can just exit. Um, and then we can just click on it again. And we're going to sell. So what's going to happen is it's going to times this by how much it's how much this cost. So it's basically four credits uh, per ton. And then we're going to exit communication and go on our little merry way. Eventually, it's going to cost us uranium to actually move between planets. So let's go to the event sheet. Oh, also real quick, I have two layers. Layer zero is basically where all the map stuff is, map stuff is, and then layer one is where all this text stuff is, so it doesn't move off the screen. So layer one's on top, and it's uh, parallax. Um, zero, real quick. Yeah, parallax is zero zero. And parallax is, um, yeah, zero, zero. And then the layer zero, it's 100, 100. So layer zero, where the, all the map stuff is, it's going to be 100, 100. And then you're going to add a layer on top of that called um, layer one. It's going to be parallax zero dash zero. Okay, so on the event sheet or the text, uh, the, you know, code system, we're going to have two global events one is called selling items so this is actually going to keep, keep track of um, what we're selling so if we decide to sell um, a layer again we're going to get a little bit more advanced in the GUI system but say we decide to sell socks or whatever well then instead of you know as you can see we only had one item to sell and that was the uranium but eventually we're going to be able to in the GUI system um, buy and sell stuff so it'll be a list of like little pop-ups um, or a list of items and then we just scroll through and we can buy and sell that type of stuff. And we're going to randomly uh, change the prices whenever we go to a new map. So, uh, you know, it may be five credits for a ton of uranium. It may be 30 credits for a ton of uranium. It's going to vary um, on a, you know, a randomized market scale. Okay, so, and then global number mouse, that's for the amount of items that we have. So eventually that's actually going to be a couple of them uh, that's going to represent um, a couple of items. I don't know how many items I'm actually going to have in this game, but I want to have a, a decent amount so we can actually make it a good little example for you guys to download. On left click of the uranium rock, it's going to be add one to mouse and then destroy that rock every 0.1 seconds. Set text to mouse. So that's going to be this text. So um, there's actually three. So it's be text two and then text three. But we're going to be sending it to this regular text. So it's going to check every 0.1 seconds. Uh, cursors over sprite six. Set uh, text to click, click to buy uranium. So when we were over this, um, actually we can check right here. So this is another rock and it's actually pinned to this uh, little board. So you're gonna just click right and then what we wanna do is add a behavior, click plus, and then you're gonna see this little pin and then click it to it. Else, set text to data displays here. So if it has nothing to display, it's going to say data displays here. On impress, set, uh, that's for the map. So we can run this real quick. And if we hit M, we have a map. And we click on it, or on the map, or not on the map, on the space background, it's going to disappear. That way we can click on a new plan and say, hey, I want to go here. Okay, on start of layout, pin. So we have two red buttons. 
that's going to overlay um, little already inset buttons that we can't click yet. So we can exit it and then sell stuff. And then that's just pinning a, uh, another um, rock sprite to the little GUI uh, cutout. On left click of the space station, set position of the little GUI box to the space station. So it's basically going to move this thing all the way over here. And because the other items are pinned to it, they're going to move along with it. Um, and then on the click of the little red button, so that's Sprite 5. And that's Sprite 5 right there. It's going to move back over to this position. And then on the left click of the rock in the GUI box, we're actually going to be buying more uranium again you need uranium to move around um, from planet to planet and on left click of the other on the cell item eventually this will be modified where all we have to do is pop up so be over a station uh, pop up our inventory and then buy or sell from there just be a little bit easier to do and then on left click of the cell button and if we have more of them, uh, it's either if we have one or more of that type of item, then we can then sell it and then um, set that information to selling item to um, so that information goes to a global variable called selling item. So whatever item we're going to sell, it's going to be f funded through there. And then we're going to times it times, okay, uh, we're going to sell this item or we're, we're going to send this information to sell, the selling item variable and it's going to be mouse times four. Well, mouse times four, that's the amount, oh, that's the, uh, you know, that rock we clicked times four. So it's four credits per ton and whatever that is, we're going to uh, set it to selling item and text three. And then set mouse to zero. So the, the original text will be zero. Our cash will be however many rocks we have times four credits, and then we'll be done. And again, again, guys, if you are confused, comment down below, or uh, just download the um, the construct two little file because this will be along with the video. So on left click of the sell button, if we have one or more, set the selling item to um, the mouse times four or however many item the item at question times four credits. Set that uh, this will be sent to the selling item variable. So whatever this answer is, it's going to be sent to the selling item variable. And then this is the text or text three. We're going to be saying, okay, whatever that number is, that mouse times four, we want this text to be displayed as, as information that the player needs to know. And then set the mouse to zero because whatever mouse was, it's no longer that because we just sold all those items for four credits a ton. So um, that's about it. And the next one, I'm actually going to be changing up the UI a little bit, so it's going to be looking a little bit uh, a little bit better. I'm going to organize the code stuff, and I'm going to start up a little randomizer for these rocks. So as soon as you click one, you wait maybe five to ten seconds, and then another one little uh, another one appears. And then we're going to have a planet with a couple of space stations, and this will be uh, your government's planet and then you can set up a trade station there you may have a limit to how big it is uh you know how much money they can take from it you know they may decide oh we want 50 percent what i'm trying to uh actually set up right now is a how much people like you so if your like meter is at 100 percent, they may only take 10 percent if it's down to you know you can't ever set up a station if it's uh below 50 so if they like you about 50% so it's like we neither like them nor dislike them. They're going to take 50% um, and then the more that they like you, so when your like meter goes up, they take less and less and less. 
So again, we can buy the uranium, we can exit communication, we can click there, we can then sell it, and we have four times four, which is the 16. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, comment down below on type of stuff that you would like. I'm going to be implementing, again, the random rock generator. Uh, the space station's part of the local government. I'm going to be setting up a planet that you can talk to. Um, and more of the detailed stuff along with a GUI interface and a little pop-up that tells you stuff that you can buy and sell with the government and possibly one other planet. So if you like it, remember hit the like and subscribe button and you're going to be seeing a bunch of more Construct 2 videos along with a open world uh, top-down shooter in this space game and a couple of 3D tutorials, but that's for later. I'll see you guys. Bye.